sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> service here. Uh, I got back from work at about 9.30 today, went straight to the grocery store, and there I picked up some oatmeal, like 30 eggs, uh, some skim milk just for my oatmeal because I don't actually drink skim milk because it literally tastes like water, so I just use that for my oatmeal. And I got some rice, so I'm set on big ass box of rice, so I'm set for like the month. Uh, for breakfast, I had two packets of oatmeal with peanut butter, syrup, and cinnamon, and then I had six whole eggs and I put a little, little bit of Lowry's fry seasoning on there and I actually think that's just like the secret to making eggs not taste like shit because I don't like how they taste but yeah after I ate breakfast I was messing around on my laptop and I was actually looking up plane tickets to Houston Texas for early August because when I went down there for the summer trading classic and I made all my uh, videos working out at Alpha League, they just blew up in likes and views and I would love to get that kind of interaction again so yeah, I plan on going down there very soon, and then further down the road, but sooner than later, probably gonna end up being down there for a lot more than just a week this time, so stay tuned for that. And after I was done browsing flights, I actually started watching some YouTube and watching like Max Tuning's new full day beating videos, I always love those. And I came across this guy named Brian Hull, and he does like impressions, and I have literally been watching this guy for the past like hour. He is so cool to watch, he's so talented, and I think it's so amazing to watch him because he's got the biggest smile and he's just got the best attitude I've seen out of really anybody in my entire life. So that's what I think makes his videos so enjoyable. He's not just good at something, he like, he loves what he does and he's insanely passionate about it. And he's just so happy to be doing what he does. Like it looks like he can't believe that he's successful doing this, like I'm sure he, was growing up and like was able to do impressions but you know never thought i'd have one and a half million subscribers on youtube making a living off talking in different voices so that's awesome love watching this guy um probably gonna eat lunch here in a couple hours and then go to the gym at like five o'clock uh hitting back today probably gonna deadlift uh i'd like to get i want to see how much i can get 315 for i've never done that i'd like to get it for like 10 I like to think I can do it for 10, but I've never actually tried it, so, and I've kind of been, like, just maxing out, maxing out, lifting way too heavy these past three weeks after my show, because I'm just, like, hammering, lifting heavy, trying to get my strength back, but, uh, yeah, I think it'd be good for me to kind of back off on the weight and, you know, go for some reps and whatnot. So, yeah, stay tuned for the workout. Uh, I might show you what to eat for lunch. If not, I will just tell you about it if I forget to film it, because I do that a lot, and that's something I need to work on if I want to get this YouTube thing up and going off the ground. Making this pre-workout right now, you've seen it before, two things I put in my pre-workout are Ghost Size product and Ghost pre-workout. And today I'm actually putting them in Gatorade because I heard a tip from somebody who goes to my gym that if you put your pre-workout in Gatorade, it just adds a lot of carbs and sugars to help fuel your workout. So that's what we're doing today. We got a little scoop of Ghost Size. Make sure it gets all in there. And then we got a little bit bigger of a scoop of ghost because you know, that's what your boy needs. Cause we got some deadlifts today. And you know what, let's just get 
Yeah, come on. Come on. There it is. Just a little bit more. All right. So that is done. Uh, we're gonna head to the gym now. We're gonna hit some deadlifts. Probably just gonna edit the workout as usual. So yeah, enjoy that. Just kidding. Not actually gonna edit this workout. I was trying to, and you know, didn't have a lot of creative juices flowing. And I was also rewatching these clips, and I realized there's a lot of stuff I kind of want to talk about about this workout. So. Welcome to my first commentary, uh, don't judge me, hope it goes well, but I'll try and give you guys a little bit of advice, a little bit of advice on what I did on this back day. Here you are seeing me actually do some squats with just the bar, and I'm rotating to the left and the right to kind of loosen up and warm up my hip adductors. I think that's a great thing to do before deadlifts, and it's going to help you feel a lot looser while you're deadlifting, and then I moved on to some Stiff like a deadlift with just the bars to stretch out my hamstrings a little bit because I have very tight hamstrings. Uh, first set, move to just 135. I don't really have a set amount of reps I like to do going up. I mean, it might be good to incorporate that, but I usually do anywhere from like 8 to 12 with my first set. And on my first set, I'm really just focusing on power off the floor, trying to make the weight feel as light as possible so I can get my mind right going into my sets. You know, obviously when you're working with only 135, your form's gonna be pretty well because it's not heavy weight at all. And second set, moved into 225. Usually when I do 225, I'm not sure why, but for me, I only do like four to six reps when I know I can do like 15. I don't know, maybe it's like in my mind, I don't wanna gas myself or something like that for my working sets coming up or if I have a really heavy set then I'm not trying to tire myself out before I get to those really heavy sets and I know earlier in the video I said I was going to try and hit 13 for 10 but as you're going to see right here that felt like it was 800 pounds on the bar so right in my mind there I just decided you know what I'm just going to get a couple reps here and I'm going to however many reps I get I'm going to do a couple more sets at that and I got three and my belt was feeling really tight and it was really uncomfortable. So I decided to loosen it up and go for another one. And then after that, I was gonna hit a couple sets of four. So here, getting back into it, pull the slack out of the bar, which I feel like really helps when you're going for a heavy deadlift. And there it is. So after that, we moved on to another set of just four. And after my first set, it started moving really really quick it felt a lot lighter and I was feeling pretty good about the sets I at the end of the session I thought I had hit four sets of four but then I looked back at the clips I recorded and I only had three clips recorded so I guess I only hit three sets of four so yeah that was my bad but you know all in all I feel like it was a pretty good deadlift session um, I didn't you know force myself to deadlift 400 pounds or anything like I have been doing this week just because I've been, been trying to get my mind back into lifting heavy. After the deadlifts, we moved on to some lat pull downs. You know, nothing special here. You're going not super wide, but you know, wider than normal, just to focus on getting some width in the upper back because that's definitely something I need to work on. After that, we moved on to this unique exercise I like, uh, just these rope rows. And I saw a tip today on Jeremy Buendia's Instagram, where if you drop your shoulders when you're doing any sort of row movement, then it, you will feel like such a better back contraction. And I really, really feel like that was true when I tried it out when I was doing my rope rows. So definitely recommend that. Drop your shoulders and you'll feel it in your lower back. And after that, just moved on to some simple seated curls. I actually started these sets with like 15 pounds, just going real slow, pausing at the top getting a good contraction, letting the blood flow through the muscle just to get ready for my next sets. And I was doing sets of 12 with 20s, as you can see here, and when I got to the top of the movement, I would pause and then let it down as slow as possible. This next movement I really like because I learned this from Julian Smith himself when I walked down to visit Alpha Elite. Uh, I was doing some pull-ups next to him, and he was doing this, and I asked him for some tips, and you know, he said, when you get up to the top, supinate your wrists to get a little more peak action, and then on the way down, really focus on the contraction on the way down and get the blood flowing into the muscle and that's all i have for you guys today thank you for listening to the commentary hope that went decent i think 
and I will see you in the next video.